Hey everybody, Professor Cynical back again with another glitch video. Now in today's video, we are going to be testing all known duplication glitches. That's right guys, we're going to test every single one and see what is going to be working going into the new month, which we all know tomorrow is September unless you're in the sneaky Australia or the New Zealand. For you guys, it's already the 1st of September. But anyway guys, that's all futuristic stuff and we're not in the land dying under, so let's get into today's video. Alright guys, so we're just going to ramp this up a little bit easy here. We're going to try the very old favourite of the personal refiner duplication glitch. Get an item, put it into your personal refiner, jump in, jump out of your ship. That will create a save point. Fantastic. Then we need to take that item back out of the personal refiner. And then we need to hunt somebody down and give over an item to. Now you need to be in the anomaly and have your multiplayer turned on for this to work. Very, very easy guys. We're just going to find some players. There's some always sitting around the Nexus area here. Now, you can transfer from your exosuit, but I keep all my storage mainly in my starship these days. So, here we go. Make sure that you send something from one of your exosuit storage or your starship. Once the message comes up and it says sent and it's not been rejected by the person, fantastic. Go into your options menu and then we're going to reload our auto save. Now, guys, just remember it will not work unless the item is definitely sent. Sometimes the inventory is full or they just don't accept the item itself then just remember you'll have to find somebody else in order to give the item to. But it doesn't matter, guys. It won't ruin the glitch if you don't get the item sent first time. All right, here we go, guys. We're back in now, nice and easy. So there's the first item there. Now we're going to our personal final. Look at that, guys. So as for September, the 1st of September anyway, we're going to call it that. Absolutely amazing. That works. Now look at that. We're at 300,000 units. Now, again, I'll just quickly show you this one last time. Now, I understand if you are the newer Norman Sky player and you're just finding this channel for the first time, you don't understand how good these glitches work. Just follow it exactly as I'm doing on screen here. Just taking a little bit slowly for this one for the newer player, guys. So here we go. We're going back now and we're going to find a player to hand over an item again. So here we go. I've been handing out all these wonderful S-Class upgrades. So there we go. See that? Cannot store the item that I'm trying to give him. That's exactly what I wanted to happen, just so I can show this. Here we go. I'm going to try and pass it over to this chap here. Here we go. Bang. Oh, look at that. Can't do it again. Uh, you can do this, guys, as many times as you want. Now, the best way that I look at it is if there's no one in the Nexus, which is a central area, always then go to the back of the actual anomaly because there's always players in the upgrade room. This room, what I call the upgrade room. So there we go, guys. That's how easy it is. Once you do get that sent message, reload your auto save. Guys, it is literally that easy to duplicate anything quick and easy like that. Now, I always say as well, whenever you are doing duplication, if you've got the items, guys, that you don't need, give a person a good item. It'll make their day and it also helps you out. So there we go, guys. Fantastic. We're back in. Look at that. Now I'm up to 600,000 units if I was to sell them. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. So remember, guys, whenever we do the duplication glitches, always jump in and out of your ship. That will create a save point. So what we need to do now is we need to run to the back here because we're going to use the portal. And this portal here, we're going to be using it for a very, very specific reason. We're going to jump to the Meet the Cynical Space. So for this next one... If you've got a base on a planet that you have the large refiners in or anything like that, use the portal in the anomaly. It will be an amazing feature later down the line. Now, for those who don't already know, I won't ruin the surprise, but trust me, use the anomaly to go to your base. Don't fly into your ship or anything. So here we go. I'm going to quickly go to meet the Cynical's base and I'll meet you on the flip side. All right, guys. Here we are, meet the Cynical's base. Now, this is where I keep all of my duplication stuff. So first off, we're going to do the refiners here. So we're going to double check and see if the medium refiner, large refiner and the exocraft duplication glitch is working. And the best thing is we can do all this at once as well. So here we go. I'm just going to put one item in each. So nothing too spectacular mind control device in that one. And we're going to go across to the Colossus here because I know that has an empty inventory now. Here we go. So we're going to go over to our exosuit here and we're going to go to cargo. Let's drag something good along. Here we go. So avoid egg. That's pretty... You know, stand the out egg. You know that we've only got one void egg there. Fantastic. So the first thing we need to do is put those items in like we've just done. Then we need to run to our ship. So I've got a landing pad just virtually adjacent to the entire lot there. Jump in, jump out. That's going to create a save point. 
that's what we want guys the save point is absolutely vital for this particular glitch or glitches so this will be for the exocraft and the medium and large refiner glitches so here we go guys we're going to take the items back out we're going to pop them into our exo suit so we can keep track with what it is we're duplicating here fingers crossed there we go yep there we go so we're just going to go into our exo craft there we don't need to jump into it we can just access it remotely there we go fantastic now the reason i said to go through the teleporter in the anomaly is because we can now use the brand new Norma Sky feature of the return to the anomaly function, but you can only use that if you go through the anomaly to begin with. So what this basically means is you don't need to now jump into your ship, go all the way up into space, call in the anomaly, do a flyby and that kind of thing to activate the glitch. We can literally just press one button now and we are back into the anomaly and all those people are all there already and we're just going to go ahead transfer over an item guys this saves so much time effort and energy it's absolutely fantastic so here we go guys that's an item sent reload auto save boom that's how quick it is just remember if you want to take full advantage of the return to the anomaly feature make sure that you go into the anomaly and then through the portal at the back it's so extremely vital all right guys so we will be loaded up here just any second just very quickly though if you are enjoying the norma sky content that i am pumping out lately then why not do me a favor leave a like on the video give a comment if you have any questions and if you are new around here why not consider subscribing to the channel i do this stuff all of the time all right so here we go we've gotten those items still in our inventory there and we can now go into our medium and large refiners and pick up the items back. Look at that, guys. We have just doubled the items amazingly. Now, I don't know if anybody noticed, sir. Uh, for some reason on this planet, I actually have a gravestone that pops up every now and again. It's from my wonderful Dead Man's Glitch. And again, we will be testing that in just a quick minute here. But for some reason, it has glitched out for me. So I get, even though I don't get any items for it, I do get a grave. Just to remind me where I once perished. <laughs> Don't even ask me why. It's just one of those things. So here we go. So exosuit, boom, fantastic. All duplicated stuff. So there's my grave, guys. Now, watch this. I'll physically click on the grave, but this is a weird glitch for me. It's just been happening lately. Restore lost inventory, but look, there's nothing to restore. <laughs> there's nothing there. Nothing pops in. So I don't know what that's all about, but it happens from time to time. It may happen to you, but it is a harmless glitch, so don't worry about it. So we're going to jump in and now that's going to create a save point. So that then locks in everything that we have just done. Fantastic. So those are the items that we've got now. We're going to duplicate the entire lot at once. And to do that, we're going to get a geology cannon like I've just done there. Point it to the floor and blow the absolute legs off of ourselves. So that's absolutely fine, guys. Do not worry about it. This is all part of the glitch. It's called the Dead Man's Glitch. For that, unfortunately, you need to die. So this isn't one recommended for survival because, yeah, you, you, you'll you have to, like, you know, you'll just ruin your game. <laughs> anyway, so here we go. Your grave, fantastic. We're going to pick up all the items. There's all the items back. Like I said, this is only recommended for creative and normal, not for survival. So here we go. For this one now, because we haven't gone through the anomaly, we need to now go through the actual anomaly from the front if that makes sense not going through the nexus teleporter and then we can just use that awesome new feature nope we're gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way here we are going to call in the anomaly not a problem now this is called a flyby now for the newer people on this channel here today if you are wondering what a flyby is very very easy to explain a flyby is calling the anomaly and as you're flying through get an item ready to transfer you'll see a bunch of names pop up when you can transfer over an item, make sure it says sent, reload your auto save. That easy, guys. That's what we call a flyby. Now, you might hear something called a flyout as well. A flyby and a flyout is exactly the same thing. So when you're flying through the anomaly, if you don't get somebody, you'll land. That's fine. Don't jump out. Just fly back out again. And it's that simple again. You're just going to do the same but flying out. And if you still don't get anybody, just go right back into the anomaly again. Call it back in if you haven't already and just keep on doing it until you get somebody. So here we go, guys. We are now back in the anomaly absolutely fantastic now i did go a little bit away from keyboard here but i'm not going to cut this out just so you know this is one continuous shoot so you know there's no edit involved or anything else like that all right guys so i am just about back here we go so double checking my exo suit there those are all the items that were just duplicated and we'll go back to my grave here we go 
picking up all those items again. Look at that, guys. Now, this is an extremely powerful application glitch that, trust me, you can put anything in your inventory and glitch it straight off the back by doing the dead man's glitch. Absolutely powerful, wonderful glitch, and I love it to absolute pieces. Oh, I think I need to sit down after all these glitches. They're going to start driving me delirious. Oof. There we go, guys. Well, that's everything from me here today. I hope you've all enjoyed. And like I said, guys, if you like what I do, why not consider subscribing to the channel? I release videos every single day of the week. Also, guys, I want to thank our wonderful Patreon members for today's video. I would like to thank Richard Bo, Jeff, the Dreads Guy, Captain Z, 1420, Jilly Dad, Don Mega, 1976, Westland, Alan, Rene, and I want to thank our wonderful superfans as always, guys. So I would like to thank superfan Steve, superfan Jerry, superfan John, Superfan Alex and Superfan Brian. Also, guys, I want to thank our wonderful YouTube members, Kelmia, Frisco Bay, Pelican, and Astros AJ for becoming part of the ever growing Professor Cynical Student Club over on YouTube. They're absolutely fantastic. Thank you to each and every single one of you guys who have contributed to the channel. Absolutely amazing. Now, if you're watching this here at home, you want to become part of the ever growing Professor Cynical patreon club or youtube club you can do so by clicking the links in the video description down below either the join icon for youtube or the actual patreon link for the patreon all right guys well that's everything from me here today and as always my name is professor cynical and i'll catch you all again in the next one bye for now